Liverpool is having two players that are really looking to really wind down their career at the Merseyside best club in the summer of 2025. And who are they? It's Mohamed Salah and Trent Alexander Arnold. And for Mohamed Salah, maybe people might say it's over for him and Liverpool because of his age. But you might really think twice on as to why players at that age are really doing the needful and obviously putting in the required shift altogether for their respectful or their uh, respectful clubs. Welcome to the Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where you're watching us from? We're going to be talking Unai Emery and uh, Aston Villa Bayern Munich in here onto this channel known as the Rokani Media Football. Remember, we are powered by Mono Gadgets, dealers in brand new phones, brand new laptops, you know, and even if you want a used phone and his laptop from the UK, call them on plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five, and the rest is really gonna be history. So this is already, and we are doing the need for obviously get you the best that you people deserve, and we are here to obviously push this to the next level and see to it that everything will moves on as planned. Now call them on that number, go to TikTok, search for Mono Gadgets, and follow them. Then you really hail me later now the big story today is all about Trent alexander arnold in the summer transfer window looked like real madrid had gone ahead obviously put him on the short list of the players they want to sign this so the previous summer or the next summer but looks like Trent has gone ahead obviously settle in liverpool very well amid scares that and slot is not interested into the player and is like i need a much more better offensively and defensively right back two in one because trent defensively is really vulnerable but it looks like liverpool are like he's really performing well in your system and we have to obviously offer him a new contract and today tim talk has gone ahead to put out a very huge story about trent's new big contract they've told us that liverpool are set to offer trent alexander arnold a new year a new six-year contract a new deal is said to be offered and despite the interest of real madrid and english rivals man city there is a calm confidence at anfield that the 25 year old will stay the contract that will be offered will be a huge bomb in a pay for alexander arnold and bring him in line with muhammad salah the club's top honor once Salah leaves the club, which is possible in the summer of 2025, the new contract for the England international would make him the highest paid player at the club. The hope is also that he signs until 2030 on a new six-year deal. So, Liverpool, really very, 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 very calculative. One, there are players that you cannot lose out like that. And Trent Alexander Arnold is in that caliber because he's a born and bred player of Liverpool. You know, he came from the academy, and they've gone ahead to say to it that he really puts in a very huge effort every time he's called to obviously put it onto the pitch. And he has the history of Liverpool. You know, he has been part of the team of Liverpool that has come up and obviously changed the narrative at liverpool in as far as winning trophies is really concerned winning the premier league 2019 2020 winning the champions league in 20 um in 2018 2019 going ahead to obviously play in like i think three or four different champions league finals under um jagen club and so on and so forth so this is where everything comes to <clears throat> comes to the front desk of Anslot with a board telling him he's a player that we must have. And the good thing is that he's a player who really produces moments. And I think that Anslot has nothing to do, but he'll be like, I'm going to might be really see what we are going to do and see whether he will fit well into the system and really win the position for me. But, um, when you flip the coin, you have to look through on the other side and ask, are Liverpool doing this genuinely? That is the huge question because they might be like, <clears throat> he might not be the plans of Anslot, but we don't want to lose him on a free like we did on Georgina Wijnaldum, you know? And um, is it Nabi Keita, right? So 
they might they, they might be like <clears throat> all right let's offer him a gigantic contract or a lucrative contract then after we take him to or we put him on the market whichever team that comes in through to really offer us the amount of money that he want because i tell you trent is worth 100 million euros plus and if liverpool can collect 100 million euros plus from trent alexander arnold's sell remember it will be a hundred percent profit as this player came in through from the academy you understand so that's where things really go on into a better way that you haven't even gone ahead to think about because liverpool might be like, might be self-guarding themselves from losing trent alexander arnold on a free because Ancelot might obviously maybe look into bringing another right back or really see Bradley take over Trent Alexander Arnold. But you never know the pressure that Bradley has gone ahead obviously impose onto Trent Alexander Arnold might result into giving him a lot of might result into giving him a lot of peace of mind in everything he's really gonna be doing. You understand? So <clears throat> we are waiting to see how that happens, but when we go to Muhammad Salah um i think they'll weather him like one or two one or two more years at liverpool you know that liverpool team i think it hasn't gone ahead obviously reach a level to lose muhammad salah because you don't see which player will raise the bar than muhammad salah a player who is assured of 20 goals a season i think you better give him a contract for like one or more two years at the same amount of um wage because he earns 300 and fifty thousand pounds a week you offer him that amount of money and the rest will be history now i see most of you are going to be asking yourselves rokani when they give him a contract of 30 of like three hundred and fifty thousand bob at liverpool that is trade like an arnold won't that stop his exit from liverpool liverpool will be safe because even if real madrid comes and convinces trent to go real madrid are really good at really paying that price you know even Man City can pay that wage of that player you get so I think it's really huge and it's really getting better and better and better and better and better that's a good plan for Liverpool uh tying Trent Alexander Arnold in a long contract but for Mohamed Salah we don't know what his decision is really going to be because we all know to it that he's that kind of player who is wanted by the Arab side that is Saudi Arabia and him being a Muslim he feels like maybe he should play in he should play there to obviously raise the button really meet and not disobey Allah so we wait and see how that pans out now United Emery is playing Bayern Munich today and he's taking on Vincent company at the Villa Park and this is why United Emery had to say we are going to play against one of the best teams in the world they are maybe one of the one of the three to four favorites to win the competition I want to play matches like that of course we are already playing games we're already playing teams like that in the premier league man city liverpool arsenal who are also favorites like Bayern munich but to play in europe we are very happy to face Bayern munich here at home and hopefully we can enjoy the game today compete with them and show our best so this game of football is really going to be huge and highly competitive but he's like taking on Bayern munich is really going to be one of those moments that he believes um will give him the best of a competition and really test his team in as far as he has reached and today 22 hours i think that's gonna be one of the future games that i'm gonna come in here and really tell you the match the match they live you know tell you where they are and what the plan is for this but i believe it's really gonna be a highly contested game it's not gonna be a park or a walk in the park for the side of Bayern Munich for them to win this game they need to obviously elevate it better and better and better but we are having other games of football that are really going to be played today Benfica hosting Atletico Madrid Liverpool hosting Bologna Arabi Leipzig hosting Juventus Lille hosting Real Madrid and Stam Graz hosting Club Bruges Dynamo Zagreb hosting Monaco and um, I think that will be done and dusted for those games and you're going to be getting back to the champions league on the 22nd of october no sooner will return from the international break so your thoughts on to liverpool offering trent alexander arnold 
a lucrative contract. I welcome in the comment section. But do you think that will obviously keep him here old? The player might be like, I want to go. I want to go. I want to leave. And you should really let me leave and go. So we are out in here. And let's wait and see how things are really going to be panning out for you, the people watching in through this channel known as known as the Rokani Media Football. Bye-bye for now.